Hello, um, I am trying to start to do a couple of perfume reviews inspired actually um, by YouTube and other YouTubers who um, have really helped me find some good perfumes for really good prices um, rather than just continually talk about the same perfumes that everyone else already wears, especially modern ones. Um, a particular shout out to Ruth Ann McKinnon who you should definitely, if you like skin scents um, or you work somewhere where you're not allowed to wear perfume, you should definitely check out her channel and check out, she's got three videos about um, perfumes to wear in non-perfume areas and it's, they're, they're brilliant. She also loves what I'm about to talk about, which is skin mask. Um, and I think I just wanted to talk about some perfumes that don't really get talked about very much, but I think are genius. I have discovered um, in my later life, and I'm 40, so I'm not ancient, but I seem to like quite vintagey perfumes. And when I say vintage, I don't mean I like perfumes that have been sitting on the shelf for 50 years. I mean, I like perfumes that have been around for a long time, have been in production for a long time. Um, because they seem to have a sweetness that isn't based on vanilla. They're not always vanilla-y, sickly, cotton candy, which is a problem that I have with so many modern perfumes. That I find them so sickly, they give me a headache. So for me, I like to wear perfumes that I can smell, my nearest and dearest can smell, and occasionally if I walk past someone, they can maybe get a bit of a waft, but I don't like to fill a room. I like to smell clean, I like to smell good, I like to smell myself, but I don't, I don't want to force everyone else to smell me from a mile away, that's just not my style. And I think there's probably a lot of people who feel like that, so I thought I'd try talking about some awesome things. So Skin Mask uh, by uh, Parfum de Coeur um, is American. So you have to get it shipped over to the UK, which is where I am. Um, it's worth it. It's a tenner. Get it from Fragrance X. Get it shipped over. Doesn't matter how much it costs to get it here. It is absolutely magical. Ugh, I mean, how do you describe the smell of it? Um, firstly, I would say if you could have to, if you had to choose between the spray and the oil, go for the oil. The oil will last much longer. It's warmer. Um, and you don't have to go through the whole hairspray vibe when you first spray it, which so many old school perfumes have. So the notes in this are musk, sandalwood and floral notes. And it's the most comforting thing I've ever smelled. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is heaven. I mean, that's heaven. I, I, Yes, I can tell that there's sandalwood. You can definitely tell that there's musk, but it's not uh, animalic. It doesn't smell barnyardy. It doesn't smell dirty. It's pure clean because it's super soapy. So if you don't like soapy perfumes, you won't like it. If you do like warm, soapy perfumes, this is going to be heaven for you. I, I was trying to work out how to describe it. Um, and I think... If there was a smell for someone that you love giving you a hug um, and making you feel really safe and warm, that's what skin mask would smell like. It would smell like skin mask. That's the smell of that. It's the smell of comfort. It's pretty much the only perfume that I will ever put on before bed. Um, and when I say bed, I mean sleep or I put on before sleep. Um, I don't wear perfumes to, to bed normally. Um, Obviously, I have some that I wear to bed for evening activities with my fiance, but I don't wear them for, you know, just S's and G's, as it were. Um, the floral notes, I, I wouldn't really know what to pick out from the floral notes, but it definitely is slightly flowery. It's very, very musky. It's just heaven. So the cologne, which I just used to spray on top, I never just use the cologne on its own. Um, oh, it's more, it's more obviously flowery. It's a little bit hairspray at first, 
but it do, does dry down into pretty much exactly the same scent. It's not, I find that the, the cologne is, when it's dried down, maybe a little bit more sugary, but maybe slightly not quite as warm as the oil, but I find that with all oils. Um, oils always seem to just be warm because obviously the way they, they sit on your skin and sink into your skin is different. And so it's just heaven. Um, oh, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, if you like Wild Musk, if you remember in the UK, they used to have a perfume by Cote called Wild Musk that was in a weird black kind of bullet shaped bottle which was the reformulation of the really old amber coloured wild musk that you can still get today. Um, but it was softer, it was easier to wear, the, it, it, wasn't, it was beastly, but it wasn't full beast mode. Skin mask has a similar style smell to that, but it's gentler, soapier, um, it's not so in your face, so it's more comfortable to wear, I think. Um, and I think if you were wearing this, it's not got much silage, you're not going to like, um, silage, is that the right word? I'm not sure if that's the right word. Not People around you won't be able to be like, oh my god, she's wearing perfume. They'll just think you smell delicious, especially if they get close, but you'll just smell clean. Um, and it lasts forever. The oil lasts forever. If I put, if I put that on my clothes, um, I can still smell it like five days later. In terms of if I put it on my skin and then I wear something, I can still smell it five days later. Um, I can wear it all day and then wake up in the morning and I can still smell it. It will be subtle, but it's there. It's absolutely magical and it's about a tenner. It's so beautiful. It's I'm obsessed. I love it so much that I bought a special crystal decanter for it that sits next to my bed because, let's be real, the bottles are, are hideous. Um, you know, I mean... It looks so cheap, and it is quite cheap, but it doesn't smell cheap, I think is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I think you should get it. If you like soapy perfumes, if you like subtle perfumes, if you like musk, if you don't have this, you're insane. That's how I feel about it. So, um, yeah, I hope some people try it, and if you do, and you, you know, like it, give me a shout. <laughs>